So if you believe this, then you have faith. Yes. So in faith, is God's word believed? The question is then, do you believe the word of God? Do you believe God himself? Amen. And in your handouts, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go over some facts about faith. But before we do that, if everyone could just close your eyes for just a moment, right where you're sitting at, even in social media land, wherever you're at, just close your eyes for a moment. And I want you to imagine, right in front of your closed eyes in your mind, the greatest thing that you want God to do for you. And I want you to see that in your mind. And then I want you to call it into existence. And that's called calling those things which be not as though they were. Okay. So we're done with that. And so that's just your seeing something in your mind where you have to call something that is not as though it were. And that's what faith is all about. Amen. You know, faith, there's not a Hail Mary pass. Mm -hmm. You know, like when we're in the football game and at the last quarter they have a few seconds left. Well, the offense and the defense, everybody runs down into the end zone and then the quarterback throws the ball and hopefully they're praying that the offense gets it. Yes. And it's called a Hail Mary pass. And when I say faith isn't per se like a Hail Mary pass because sometimes somebody has been on their knees praying mm -hmm. and they've been praying for that situation and we've seen it at the last second, the circumstances change around so per se. But in my example, faith isn't like that. You don't just throw it and hope. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because there's process and procedure. Yes. And so when choosing faith in our handout that I gave you, it says faith must. Mm-hmm. First thing faith must be is practical. Yes. What you're having faith for must practically line up with the will of God. Come on, that's good. For example, I can't stand here now. I can tell you how old I am, but I'm <laughs> up there and I'm not growing anymore. But for me to stand here and say, God, I want to be six foot eight. <laughs> so I'm going to ask you, because I want to be a tall model. I have stopped growing. Mm -hmm. And so I am not going to be six foot eight. And it wasn't God's will and his plan and his destiny for me to be six eight. Mm -hmm. So you have to make sure that your faith is in line and be practical that it's lined up with the will of God. Faith must involve you. Mm -hmm. Faith requires your participation. So I'm going to use myself again. I want to be a fitness model. Now, okay, I want to be a fitness model, and I have faith that God is going to open all doors for me, and I'm going to be a fitness model, but then I'm couch potato. <laughs> I want to eat whatever I want. Come on. <laughs> and then I don't want to put in the work. I don't want to exercise so I can be ready. Well, faith requires my participation. Faith without works is dead. Mm -hmm. I have to participate. If I want to be this, and I'm asking God, and he said if it's in my will, I'm going to do it. That's right. But I have to participate. So when he brings it, I'm ready. And I, you know, I, I do modeling. And I've had a couple of jobs where they've had the audition, and I, I'm not at that place yet, so I don't audition for you know, so it takes participation. So I have to participate by being 